Hey guys, today we're talking about how you can use different build plate surfaces like PEI as a covering for your glass or, or whatever type of build plate material you're using and it can help with adhesion, it can help keep parts down and it can also help protect your glass from breaking and chipping. So we've got a couple different types of PEI right here. The first thing you're always gonna need is adhesive. This is a 3M adhesive. This is like a 486MP, which is one of the most common ones we see. It's sticky. It, it, it's sticky. Um, it's not the highest temperature stuff. There is some stuff, um, I believe it's 9085MP, which is kind of hard to get your hands on, but that stuff will go up to 200 Celsius. So Isn't that a type of PEI? No, no, uh, it is a type of PEI, yeah. It's also they a label. Or a label. Really? Yeah, 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 it's crazy, 3M. Um, so 9085, but this is, yeah, so 486 or 468 is what you'll That's see on most. 468? 486. Well, there's, I mean, numbers are numbers. There's so many grades of everything, but yeah. <laughs> so whenever you're doing this, you're gonna need some sort of adhesive. Um, now, a lot of uh, build plate coverings, if it comes with it, it'll actually have adhesive on the back, like this build tag plate. Um, I think what you'll find with that is normally you'll be limited to a thickness of the right. PEI or what is PEI also known as? Polyether Imid, okay. uh, Ultim. Ultim. It's Ultim. Ultim. Uh, don't let anyone catch you saying yeah. that online. Right, I don't know exactly. Well, Ultim TM made by Sabic. Uh, Sabic is actually the only company in the world that makes PEI or makes Ultim. Ultim is a trademark. PEI is the chemical name. So PEI, I'm not exactly sure what grades these different companies use. Is 1000. it? Yeah, Ultim 1000, 1000. right, right. Yeah. So that's one of the ones you'll see. Um, yeah, it has a yellowish, beautiful. Right. beautiful Ultim almost always is a yellowish. But this build pack, this particular brand of PEI sheet is very, very thin. That, that's just the sticker. Um, and but usually it has, that's all right, because most of the time it's very expensive material. Right. Because it's very strong. Uh, exactly. We use that, uh, some of our high temp uh, machines will use a uh, PEI uh, surface. Right. Because they can withstand. Um, what your limiting factor is really going to be is the adhesive. And so on here, this already has the adhesive applied to it. So you don't have to have any separate sheets. But the adhesive is a problem because. That's the weakest link. It's the weakest link. When you have a hot build plate, keeping these high temperature materials that we're, we're printing, we're extruding the materials at 400 Celsius, 350 up to 450 Celsius, depending how fast you're going. And when your plate is at 160 Celsius or more, 200, 220, whatever, to keep it soft and sticking down, the adhesive just stops working. And then the whole thing just peels up. Unless so it doesn't really theory. work specific specialized type of which we can probably link to right we will have some of that at some we point in the future the um, it's kind of hard to hard to get but 9085 so Bill Tack makes this sheet you know gizmo dorks is one you'll find all over uh amazon and it's just it, it looks green but it's actually you know clear yeah. uh clear 10, honey yellow 1, sort of yeah so that is ultimate 1000 nice and thick yeah quality strong stuff exactly and we like the thicker Not stuff sponsored. because, I mean, if you look, this stuff, you know, bendy, bendy, but this stuff is a lot more rigid. So when you have really warpy parts, it's less likely to peel, for the part, to peel the coating up from the bed. So you wanna get the thickest stuff you can, uh, unless you plan to replace it a lot. Now, sometimes over time, you'll have to refresh it. I've heard that alcohol, you yeah. can actually like, you know, rubbing alcohol on it. Uh, will help so revitalize the surface. Home, it works well. Right. You, you don't ever have to use any kind of adhesive on these sheets. You know, there's a lot of different kinds of build plate sheets. You know, we've got Gecko Tech, there's Build Tech, there's a lot of different kinds out there. And the cool thing about them is you can actually print 50, 100, or even sometimes more times on the same sheet without having to replace it. Um, so that can be pretty cool for the basic materials if that's all you're doing. Uh, it can really be helpful. Now they're all made of different stuff. I think some of these are polycarbonate, you know, there's there's a few different materials to use. But if you're really getting into the high temperature, uh, crazy functional thermoplastics, and the easiest thing we've come up with uh, is this nanopolymer adhesive. Just makes it a breeze. You just wipe it on, slap it onto whatever surface you're using, PCB, carbon fiber, glass, ceramic glass, anything. Uh, and it works really, really good. You can also put this stuff on the PEI. If your parts aren't sticking, you can use glue stick on the PEI, you can use hairspray, you can use other adhesives on top of the polyethylamide 
to increase its adhesion on a heated build plate. I actually have one of these on uh, one of those spring steel magnetic plates at home. Um, works really, really well. Um, you should know about EDI. These alcohol does re revitalize it, help uh, clean it up. Um, certain parts, certain materials, beads, whatnot. I use big volcano, a lot of heat. I do use, the, this helps a lot. Um, you can use hairspray. I'll use other additives um, on top of it to get things to stick. If cleaning it with alcohol is not enough, um, but it's my favorite build material. Uh, we like to use it here. Uh, if you want to put the extra effort in, buy a nice thick sheet with some nice glue, uh, I mean adhesive, that's the, probably the best way to possibly go. It'll last, if cared for, for an incredibly long time. Right. Uh, right. And it can withstand a ton of abuse. Yeah. One of the other advantages is that like ABS is known for pulling chunks out of borosilicate glass. Uh, and it, it, it can crack the glass, whatever. It cools at a different rate from the glass. And so if you just get one of these for what, 15 to 20 bucks on Amazon, uh, then you can actually put that, we'll have some on our website soon actually. Um, but you can just put that on the surface and it will protect your glass. So that's a really good way to that's make sure that you- use it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Before I bought <laughs> yeah. the spring steel, I bought, I had these and it saved. I bought so many things of course with the glass because I printed ABS, chip, chip, break, break. This stopped all that. Yeah, sweet. Awesome. All right, that's all we got for you today, guys. If you're interested or you have any comments or questions, uh, post them down below. Uh, and we're more than happy to answer them and talk to you guys about all the crazy stuff you're doing. Uh, so thanks yeah. for watching. You want a sample? Get in contact with us. We'll right. You yeah, we got free samples of this. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.